And we are live. Okay. I have got our guests today who, you know, I don't know exactly what's going to happen in this stream. I really can't tell you. I, uh, I've i seen interesting information from both of them. Uh, <laughs> some of the information, you know, especially from the first guy, uh, Grubba Macho, is what he goes by on Twitter. A very important part of the Fred lore, he added. Uh, Pi Cooper. Pi Cooper. You want to tell us about that? Oh, uh, <laughs> good old Pi Cooper, yeah. I saw you had a, a raccoon fur soda, which, you know, <laughs> I think that'll take. And for some reason, you know, my mind just immediately went to Sly Cooper, the, the thievious raccoonist. And yeah, I well. I came in, but it, it played a very critical role. It sure I'm did. a short while away where some artist made some money. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a good dinner that day. They weren't a starving artist for a week. <laughs> yeah, no artist starve around me. That's definitely true. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, with that out of the way, uh, uh, you showed me how, basically, I, I think there were two main parts to what you showed me. You showed me how you kept spamming the Discord like a year ago. So maybe go into that first. Yeah, basically, I, I you know I found out about the the Kiwi Discord and how easy it was to make Discord accounts, and he only had uh, himself as admin and the owner. I forgot what their name was, and they were almost never on. So, but he is a no. Yeah, 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 Josh. Oh, but. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did, I used a simple little program called Macro Gamer. Not sure if you ever heard of it. You can uh, just Google it, download it for free. Is it something like Auto Hotkey, maybe? Um. Yeah, but for like people who are even like like stupider and more basic, like me, like, <laughs> just, <laughs> you just hit start record and like you you do what you want it to do. You stop record and it just it can keep doing it infinitely. So I I just set up a fucking uh spam and tag Josh and no admins rolling for like twelve hours and it just it just went. He woke up to fifty over fifty thousand notifications and. From there, it just became kind of an arms race of adding Jannies and me spamming more accounts and spamming their voice chat. I had, I had some some pretty funny audio clips. I don't have them available, but just edits, and I would just sit there and spam it and make the whole Discord unusable. I mean, it seems like this is unserious, but one thing, the reason that I wanted to talk about it is because he gets so mad. Like, he is supposed to be this guy that's impossible to make mad, you know? He's huh? just the tower, like, he's like a king, but he gets so fucking mad over this. Oh, yeah, he's a real sensitive, a little sensitive boy, man. He really don't like me. Like, even on sock accounts that I know, I've never had any the same VPNs or same cookies. I clear my cookies, all that. But just, like, I'll have it for weeks on end. But if I get into a chat and start talking to Josh, it's just it's instantly he can just, just feel my aura, and it just it irks the fuck out of him every time. Like, <laughs> I'm wild, he's mild, you know? <laughs> he was talking about it in the stream. He was talking about how he's been having to practice his breathing and his heartbeat's not going over uh, 60 beats per minute because he's just so calm and not <laughs> internet, guys. Uh, well, anyway, is this is, is this whole drama is Kaffold's? Okay, no, don't give her a credit, but is all this drama giving him heart problems? <laughs> that's what it so. sounds like. I, he talks a lot about his heart rate. I know it's, it's weird. No, I mean, I mean, I know I joke, but like, uh, you know, hopefully he's seeing a doctor. <laughs> but like, I'm mad at the internet. Maybe he talks just about it give up the farms at that point. If it's stress it here, off to that point, should it? Uh, yeah, I don't know if he has, like, a heart rate monitor app on his phone or something, because it comes up a surprising amount. Huh. I think that I think it was something like that. I think that might have been what he said, but it's just, like... God, you get heart rate problems? Why well, would I've you heard it on Matt at the Internet before. Like, I've heard him, and I've seen it in other posts, so, yeah. <laughs> um, but, but anyway... Uh, you too many pizza days. <laughs> <laughs> so, regarding, um, that's, you know... Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I, I wonder, like, like, okay, you spammed their Discord, according to you, and you sent me a lot of proof of it. I don't think I need to display that. I mean, it is clear that he did not have anyone moderating it. Like, why did he even, why did he think that would work, A? And B, why have a Discord if he already has a fucking forum? I, I don't know, eventually he did start adding more Jannies and thinking it was going to work. But then, like, also, <laughs> of course, it's Josh, and he he's socially inept, and he gets these, like, attention-hungry people who obviously just want to be abused their powers and they're sitting there and plotting to basically do the same thing I'm doing to other discord servers they don't like which I, I think I got into with you where there was some popular transgender discord I don't remember the specific one but they were sitting there spamming the, the discord link to invite everyone on the map of the internet discord to go and troll, troll over here let's go troll the, the transgender discord and give them a what for so I decided to go over there and just tell everybody 
on that Discord, which had thousands of people in it, uh, where these attacks are coming from. It's coming from Matt's internet. It's coming here. And I don't know, man. I just know a few days later, within a week, the Discord went down. <laughs> wow, wow, played. <laughs> nice. Say he hates this point. Nice. Wow, played. Well played. Yeah, I agree. Okay, the other thing, the other thing you sent me, uh, I didn't. You sent me a lot of texts. I'm sorry. You know, I can be oh, yeah, pretty. Yeah, a lot of self-important stuff to sift through. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can be pretty, pretty small-brained here, and I don't, I don't even remember what it was about. So, how about you just tell our audience and tell me at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> well. well... I guess just um, from the beginning, I guess most people might know me from Kiwi Farms. I started off trolling the the Weeb Wars people, the pro Vic Lasagna, Nick Ricada crowd. And I ended up pissing off one of his red name admins in particular who um, had been on Ricada's show even with Josh Inspex, the uh, Queen Doxer or whatever the hell they had title for they had on Weeb Wars because she was going through and – Doxing all the lawyers, everyone involved in the kick Vic, everyone on Twitter who posted, and and boy, she couldn't stand her no boy go tango at all, and she couldn't stand. She couldn't like always come up with legitimate enough reasons, you know. She got me a couple of few bands here and there increasing. Eventually, what she decided to do to try to to get knit the problem in the butt herself is she used some sort of discourage feature on Zenfora that you're not supposed to use because what can happen and what ended up happening is as I'm sitting there trying to figure out why the site's down, refreshing and refreshing, what I'm actually doing is clogging up all the nodes or whatever and shutting down the site for a day. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> didn't you just say that you were not, like, not that technically, like, savvy, right? Like, you didn't... Oh, yeah, 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 I'm ignorant. <laughs> but that's what, it, right? Yeah, like, you, but you're still there. You're still so there. How did you manage? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, oh, just, it was just for me refreshing the page. Um, It had some something... That I don't know the discouraged. Like, is Chili Farms that badly configured that you know just refreshing the page over and over can bring it down? I get. Well, Josh is just so fucking stupid because he didn't even know she had the, the the feature and was able to do it. He don't know how this fucking site work at all. That's why the leak happened. <laughs> this is the writer of Infinity Next. So <laughs> Infinity Next. <laughs> Infinity Next. For anybody in the never. audience who was not aware, that was an attempt to rebuild the uh, HM's going back to the way. Hopefully, uh, solve a lot of issues. And it went no way in part because of Josh and in part because of Jim Watkins not doing funding properly as well. All right. Well, um, I guess Grubba, you thank you very much for your little bit of information. Very, very amusing. I was very amused to see how easy it was to like, you know, like make Josh Actually, that mad. But I think that uh, Burn Burn has a lot more to say. Uh, I'll have one more thing to add before. Oh, please, okay. go ahead. And go you can it. stay in the stream. Like, I think... Yeah, no, stay here. I've got questions for you. There's more of somebody who's actively used the farms. I haven't got, so... Right, and I think it provides a lot of comic relief, honestly, so... <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah that, that's You can't have levity, especially some of the stuff I'll bring up. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> but this did eventually end up... I don't think I mentioned it in my DMs with you. And I ended up found, finding out later when one of the admins who quit and um, ended up talking with them... But Josh was actually passing around what he thought was my private email that I signed up to the Kiwi Farms with and was trying to spread around his supporters for him to try to get people to dox me, but it wasn't my private email for the Mario reference. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I even had uh, Zoom, Zoom uh, try to come out with me, come at me with a private email. So obviously someone in there had leaked it. <laughs> wow. I, wow. Really so, I can't believe he's just that big mad. I mean, I guess Kefos does not have the monopoly on fail doxing then, is what you're saying. <laughs> that, that, uh, oh, no. No, that goes all around the farms. <laughs> or when he tried to uh, to try to confirm me as Gator when I was on the Megalodon account and troll, <laughs> troll with oh. that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's mean, accusing me of being Gator. I, ooh, that's mean. <laughs> that's okay, I was role-playing as Gator. I, I had that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, now, I actually do have a question before I start adding anything. Because uh, somebody in the chat did bring up Josh Moon as a woke out down show to call. Explain what I understand. That's actually a pretty big failure in the user base of the farms, is the lollycon question is it not? And the anime user base and whether or not they should be checked out their old pedophiles or whether or not they're just fine. It's just a cartoon. Isn't that a pretty high point of contention amongst the site? I think so. Um, so, Kiwi Farms. Uh... It's up and down, up and down, so I'm not like gonna try to look at it. Yeah, I can't but, you know. but it had a it had a forum or has a forum that was called something like Deep Thoughts. And let me tell you, they would fucking argue about this kind of thing constantly. Like if you gone, if it should be legal and all kinds of pedo shit that like it was eight gen theater in that in that regard. Like it, oh, it, it was gross. You know? Uh, we were talking on the last stream about how like just ban them all. That's the right move. <laughs> Definitely. 
Make uh, it easy. And not we as in like this group, but we as oh, in yeah. the last, you know, who I was talking to on the last room. Um, yeah, uh, my audience knows that. However, I would say that, um, reg okay, regarding uh, that question, I mean, the evidence for Josh Moon's interest in that is actually not that weak. It's been a while since I've looked at it, but I mean, I don't even think he disputes it, does he? Well, um, actually, he uh, staunchly defended Loli on up until it became convenient for him to start uh, distancing himself from Dick Masterson. Also, the kind of tie was starting to shift a little bit on the site, and so he kind of used that to pivot and get away from Dick Masterson. Who even is Dick Masterson? With Digi -Bro. I was on Dick Masterson's show, but, like, I didn't know the guy before I went on his show, and I barely know him after. So, like, h how does he figure in? Okay, um, Dick Masterson opened up a, a payment processor called New Project 2, and that was during a time when uh, Ralph and Josh and all of them were a little more friendly. And Dick Masterson um, decided to take Josh on, along with Medeker and a few other people, a few other people in that whole crowd. And, you know, after that happened, and kind of, you know, before, too, while they were all still buddy-buddy, it all kind of seemed like Josh was kind of helping them and defending them. And then eventually, when that started to become a point of contention, and, you know, that was a whole big can of worms drama, the New Project 2 conspiracy, kind of skimming over that. But it ended up with uh, New Project 2 getting taken down by Vordrag. Immediately after that, Josh decides, uh, okay, it's time to drop Dick Masterson. My fan base is starting to turn against him. He's not giving me money anymore. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden now Josh has a problem with Digibro, who's been there for a long time. Digibro, as you might not know, big Lolly Kong advocate, former boyfriend of... Uh, Ralph's wife, Pantu. Pantu, yep, yep, yep. It is a small world after all. Oh, and that ties actually perfectly in, uh, because Digi Bro is a former adversary of, of my original person I went after, uh, Mr. Cynical, a known pedophile who, uh, was exposed for flying to Thailand, uh, and paying to, uh, I was with three children. Uh, he later on said that that was a joke, that, that was a 4chan joke, uh, except there were still arch archive logs on one of the archive websites where he was posting of him sharing his little sister's pictures to the website. So that kind of falls flat. What uh, the fuck? I yeah. I won't bore you too much of the details, but yeah, that, uh, uh, that was back in the day when I was actually buddy buddy with a guy named Dimitri Monroe, the YouTube sphere. Uh, Femboy was very active in defending traps, that kind of culture war type stuff, uh, critical of LGBT, well being himself. Uh, I brought it up to him uh, right away. I was like, wait, hey, didn't you two go on a date in person? Is that his voice? Because somebody tipped it off to me. I heard about the guy way back in 2015. Uh, somebody pointed it out just happenstance. Oh, yeah, this was his YouTube nowadays, just reminiscing about the old days. And I was like, wait, 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 can I am? No way. I had period that so far in my memory. I forgot his voice. Uh, I was actually in the same social circle. <laughs> Uh, I brought those up to my row. He at first was like, whoa, that's really shocking. Kind of down played it like, hey, maybe you shouldn't even do anything about it, but put out an expose. And then when uh, Mr. Cynical said, oh, yeah, it was, it was a 4chan pro. It was to destroy the life with threads on A. Uh, he said, I believe him, which sent me on a rabbit hole uh, of all the way to the farms. You know, started investigating Monroe. Uh, I gave him a long benefit of the doubt time here, like a year to kind of wake up. At some point, I realized, not, oh, he's he's probably complicit in this. The reviewed logs of his um, from a year prior or a few years prior. He attempted to groom a minor out in Washington who was 16, uh, but he proved and debunked it because they, they never met up. Uh, he was on stream that day. He had proof. Upon reviewing, that was never the claim. He never had the ever actually claimed they met up. So he debunked his own gaslight, which <laughs> frankly was very clever. Um, I think it was briefly talked about on the farms even. Um, so I started investigating that, investigating him. Funnily enough, all happenstance, uh, I brought this to the attention of Flanco. Yeah. And I learned that day as I sent a super chat, oh, Dimitri Monroe's a friend of the channel. I'd be biased, so I shouldn't cover a pedophile within my community and circles. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, idea, like, yeah. that was like a few weeks before. And this was, this was an honestly kind of a dark time because 2015, I submitted police reports without audio law. That's the pictures of a sister where he was, Montreal, Quebec. Uh, didn't have a name or an exact address, but I knew all those details. I sent that to Montreal. I did police reports, did cyber tip line. Um, nothing. Uh, no response, no nothing. He was still on the internet that many years later. Uh, I have probably every two months I do another one. Uh, I have confirmed from other investigators they've received the info, um, but it kind of put me in a bit of a dark place as far as faith and 
trust of law enforcement to actually do things, which is, I think, why a lot of people have sympathy for the farms. So tying us back into the farms, I think a lot of people get to that point. I was starting to go there, like, well, the cops ain't going to do anything. Uh, I guess I have to rely on internet streamers. That's all I've got. <laughs> that was kind of my mindset for a little while. So I went to Flamenco. Uh, after that, I went to PPP. Oh, Lord, forgive me for that one. Oh, <laughs> Probably they the ball, they fought do. the ball. I handed everything Worski and DMs. He had all the info in his DMs hours before the stream. Uh, and all they managed to do was get Flamenco mad when they brought up Monroe and not delve at all into anything. Um, Bait Alaska was the best person that day for guy. Hey, just hit it, foe. That's a sad day. That's a sad day. Um, so basically, your so claim here, you know, just so people understand, uh, yeah, you go as Burn Burn Eight on Twitter. That's B U R N B E R and Eight. Uh, your claim is that this guy, Dimitri Monroe, right? Or is it Dimitri Yes. Else? Dimitri Monroe. Okay, Dimitri Monroe is essentially this uh, figure that's related to flamenco and uh, a few others, right? And yep. is essentially, you say, a pedophile and is in their ranks and is giving them, you know, a lot of their tips. And some of those appear on uh, other Kiwi Farm related streamers. And... Yes. So, because it, it, it's unfortunately a very long tale, so that it, it sucks out more than convoluted it is. Uh, but the reviewing, tying back to Truffles, ironically, uh, Dimitri was one of the people who initially started the threads on Truffles and Pure Play Ranch. Dimitri put out the news that Cowboy Ranch, which was Truffles' account at the time, was in Fanboy Hangout, the Discord server where grooming did occur. There was grooming in that Discord server. That's what those um, Discord show. But he faked all of the logs. That's what you told no, me. No, no, no. Those were correct logs. But in the game of telephone, when Flamenco posted it on the farms, same day the thread went off, Flamenco went and posted on the farms straight to Dimitri's there. It was deflated that this was a server ran by Truffles, the Cowboy Ranch, the had grooming which is not the truth. I see. Cowboy Ranch, the Twitter account and username was in the Fanboy Hangout. Still raises eyebrows, but it is a very, very far, far cry from the smoking god of Keffel's River Grimmie server. I uh, understand. That information, uh, sourced from Dimitri, uh, and sourced from Flamenco, made it all the way up to Jem, uh, Medicar, made it all the way up to Josh, and they're putting forward this piece of completely false evidence, and I just kind of went, well, people I kind of always suspected out from a distance, maybe not now, but Medicare, I suspect, it expected to be a little more thorough, uh, kind of shook those views oh, quite a bit and shocked me. It was like, oh, I mean, I'm not getting information. All, but you know that. I'm not yeah. At all. <laughs> yeah. Spent a lot of time in downstream communities watching stuff like Jill Samuel's documentary on Chris, that kind of stuff. So I was always distant from it. But the closer and closer I got in, the more I realized these are all people just infighting amongst each other. No kidding. Most of the cows are infighting. Uh, there was an attempt, there's a thread on Mr. Cynical that was up that was slid, uh, that was derailed, especially when Dimitri came up. A uh, very active presence of people came in to slide the thread. Uh, in the, oh, it was Truthing Grounds, there's a thread on Dimitri, very quickly got slid. It a lot of these on the profiles all show up in Cuffles threads. They show up in other associates of Monroe's to slide or throw in evidence away there. So they have a very active presence. Monroe himself has a profile where he admitted, hey, yeah, that's me. No, I, I'm Monroe here. Uh, there's another one with respect to being Yumdo uh, that was somewhat active. So turns out the people I was looking into have an entire click on the farms of what we call them sliding out uh, of certain threads, certain directions, and uh, covering themselves and potentially framing victims. Uh, another thing that is kind of common with the farms, and I've seen this in other communities, communities that know that some of their people have been watched to the farms, like Dimitri's, because everybody knew there was a threat on a person named Smugriku, there's an unspoken, if we have beef, somebody brings something public, that's going to be on the farms. Nobody says it, but everybody knows it. That was actually used against a person who Dimitri was uh, drank pictures to, uh, his dick. Uh, they had been lying about their age, and so they were they were actually underage. Not his fault. But then one of his buddies okay, not decided... not his fault? I mean, is it just normal to send pictures of your dick online? I, I don't know. I don't think that... <laughs> oh, it's his fault. It's his fault. He said a drunk dick pic. He didn't know they were a minor. All right, so, okay. Then that's I mean, the maybe he's not really culpable, but that's still school. weird behavior. Oh, it's still weird behavior, you know. Um... But the weird part is going out for the person and telling them, hey, if you ever talk shit about us in any way, we're going to release everything. Monroe, one of his uh, closest attack dogs, uh, said that verbatim and it's archived on Twitter. Uh, just actively saying, yeah, hey, if you, if you say anything, I'm going to release everything. So wait, they're threatening a minor essentially with that. They are now of age, but yes, they're threatening the person Knowingly, who sent like They picks. know that it's yeah. a minor now and they're still doing it. 
they're no longer a minor. Uh, but yeah, they were, they were still they were going for Wait a minute. Them. Okay. So when the threat was made on Twitter, was this person still a minor? No, they were no longer a minor. Okay, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is kind of how the farms operates. It is this a lot of it through like a second party like Monroe will not actively do things himself he will have others do it for him uh several of the accounts it's it's not usually him being the one sliding crowds somebody else will do it for him and uh, it's how a lot of these people operate i think it goes the same for ralph uh even though he is not the farms will tell you ralph not part of the farms but he is but ralph is part of the farm's ecosystem uh there's that kind of came up with an analogy the other day it's like a city with a main like city hall um, surrounding buildings of the government in the center. That's your where the Kiwi Farms part of the city. I mean, as far as the, I'm concerned, if your income relies on the Kiwi Farms, right? If you rely on the Kiwi Farms for content to make streams, and your streams are monetized, mine is not and never will be, but, you know, then it is super cats, right? Then, okay, you are part of the farms, even if they disavow you, like disavow yep. in huge quotation marks there. Not even that, as well, that as well as even if you're just using the resource. You're within the city limits, you're part of the farms. If you're going on there and starting threads, even if the farms doesn't consider you part of the farms, you're part of the farms. And that is a lot of what the farms does, is its targets are usually people from the farms. So the victims are usually farmers themselves. Tank Keffels, who the farms themselves confirmed, hey, they have an account, look right there, but they're not part of the farms. Listen, infighting is against the rules. Josh himself has said that. I've had a for infighting. Infighting is not allowed. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not allowed, but it doesn't happen. That's, that's how the farms, especially to those who aren't in the middle, rather looked as close. And I mean, that's as ridiculous as saying that, like, don't touch the poop is a real rule. That's not a rule. Exactly. Yeah, that, 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 that. Uh, oh, yeah, that's how back in the day I thought, oh, yeah, the farm was, you know, going after sickos. As I got closer and closer, oh, the sickos are using the farms just as much as the farms is going after them. Both use it equally. Okay, one thing that has come up in the past, uh, in the stream I did with Naya, is the fact that people, investigations get ruined by the farms. Do you have, do you know yes. anything about that? Uh, the, Naya has not gone in as much detail. Um, it can go more in detail, but I believe the investigation into Carol the Wolf uh, may have had some issues with the farms, but I don't know the details. Uh, the public knowledge of it may differ a little bit. I've talked to some folks I know who are in what I call downstream, like the YouTube sphere, that's way downstream. Not Ralph, Ralph from We're talking about like Deadwing Dork and other people like that are YouTubers who just kind of cover walkouts, don't don't interact, is how they say it. Ralph, oh no, he'll tell you to go, go get him. The YouTube sphere is a little bit more, don't write Christ Chan, liar, you're stupid if you do it. Don't do it. Sort of thing. Watch them a very far difference. Um, so I still hear rumblings from them. Um, but a lot of those folks they've not looked this close to the farms they still think oh yeah the farms they're fighting people like the safo and they have a very similar mindset that like, nobody else is which is I mean, a bit of a problem me, can you help not only me but maybe viewers because i also see in the chat here somebody's quoting you pretty critically i would think uh oh. why do people think that the kiwi farms actually goes after quote unquote sickos that's obviously not what it is it goes after trans people autistic people you know that that's in oh, my yeah. experience so please like you know it's true that you know sometimes an investigation and on there accidentally in my opinion uh reveals something that sends someone to jail but that that's the vast minority of cases so why why is this thought so pervasive i would go ahead, uh, go ahead macho oh i was just saying that's the one that josh likes to push because it sounds the, good you get to, to feel good about posting on the farms you know you're not just sitting here and trying to make yourself feel better by comparing it to somebody else's life and autistically cataloging information about oh, no, <laughs> you're trying to so you know law enforcement of the internet you're doing what the police <laughs> <are>. <laughs> like you said uh, uh, no, no, you're completely correct, and that's why I brought up the analogy of, like, a city. Like, the farms like to pretend, oh, no, it's just this governmental block. We're, we're all that the farms is. No, 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 it's this whole city, and it's wrong to the guard. Well, even the governmental um, block, I mean, like, oh, the yeah, that's wrong. are personally going in and going after these people, too. I mean... Yeah, I think it's the come from, because I always avoided the farms, because uh, I was aware of people like Melvin and self. I was neutral on the farms, just like, no. If you come out from a, like, if you look into Seth of the Wolf, your knowledge of the farms is focused around the case of Sylph of the Wolf. A very, very nasty zoophile, pedophile, by the way. They were going to, they had a shotgun who were considering suicide outside of a children's uh, hospital. I don't know if it was a children's hospital, but it was a hospital. Um, that, I did actually see the thread on, somebody on the thread called the cops, I was about to. Um, so if you come from that perspective where you're looking at just the farm's involvement in the case, it looks a lot different than if you look at the entire charms itself. Once you start looking at the whole farms and you follow the case as it's happening, it looks a lot, a lot different. Where in most cases you see the farms as the only opposition to a sicko. 
and you're worried about the sick of your focused on Sappho, the only part you notice of the farm is how the farm is going after the sick person. And what is Bell Janky, who convinced Chris to do what Chris Chan to do what he did? If you part of the farms, the by the way, they tried to exactly, oh, exactly. Was in the same room as Discord as her. They were, Wait, they were on the same Discord too. Yeah, Jesus, it was a whole group with spooky bones, and it was a whole. Thing, and Josh just denies I, it. But Josh says that he wasn't. People just take it at face value. I didn't know he was in the same Discord. I do, but I knew she was trying to appeal to the farms. But to outsiders, the farm says, "Oh no, we root those people out." And if you not in it looks close, he wouldn't know otherwise. I mean, they essentially, uh, you know. Uh, this is my opinion. You guys can tell me if I'm off, if I'm off on this. But I feel like they tricked Chris Chan into doing what he did that landed him in jail. Oh, definitely. Oh, it's a bell Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and that he wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for them trolling him. <gasps> and Josh was just been exploiting him the whole time anyway, had access to his bank account. Yes. Withheld the money he was supposed to get yep. for the drawings. Why was Rikada he asking him, should I keep the money or, or can I can I keep the money? Is it legal, Daddy Rakeda? <laughs> How did that even come about? How did he get control of the money that Chris Chan had? Um, I believe it was because the idea guys were scamming him out of money and actually the police were reached out to the sergeant uh, actually gave a statement I think it was like oh yeah well that was his choice to get scammed or something along those lines and, huh, I mean, heartless. yeah I was heartless Chris is a bad person though do not get that wrong and that was long before the farms that's where the farms gets people because a lot of the people with Chris they can look at him and go look at what he did to Megan um I won't even say her last name because people should not go look at her Somebody asked me if alone. I would be tricked into that. Well, no, of course not. But I also am not like Chris Chan, and I'm not that, you know, deeply... I don't have that many mental issues that they do, right? And I definitely... Like, as far as I understand, Isabella basically told Chris Chan that he would get her as a girlfriend if he did that. Is that is that far off? There is debate, actually, on how much of it was her, whether or not there was that sort of relationship even before Bella. Um, but um, you can actually kind of refocus the goalpost. Isabella's plan was to have Chris do that, then have him go have sex with an autistic girl who's genuinely interested in him, uh, and then frame a leaking of those logs on her and get Chris to commit suicide. That was her plan. Jesus that is Christ. what she wanted to do. So even if she wasn't the exact one, it, 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 there may have been a little bit of play on both sides, uh, and it's speculated on. Either way, sick as can be. In fact, as far as we're aware, she never faced any legal justice, which is disgusting. And that's where, like, a lot of people look into Chris, which is very, very popular sector. Way more people look into Chris Chan than look into the farms directly. Um, as far as they're aware... Uh, but even though the farms basically ruined Chris Chan's life, as far as I'm concerned, yes. I mean... Oh, if... no, Josh saved him. Yeah, no, no, they, they took an already downhill and took bottom. Um... I, I, I'm only saying Chris is, from the beginning, not a good person. The farms did not make that happen, but they made it way worse. Way, 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 way yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. I mean, you know, I don't know enough to say. Obviously, I've never talked to them. But I I just feel like from everything I've heard, they are, uh, they just make everything worse when it comes to him. Yup, they, they very much did. Oh, 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 sorry, you did ask. Part of it was that uh, the idea guys who were group of trolls were scamming money from Chris, where the sergeant said, oh, well, whatever. Um, and that's why Josh stepped in to cut a out um but that's a whole story in and of itself well wasn't there like a hurricane that happened in, in virginia or he chandlerville virginia i think is the name of the city there was like a hurricane or tornado. Itself. that could have been the fire could have been the fire okay yeah i'm sorry yep the, the yeah, fire, the fire. Like, i know that there was some big natural disaster that caused uh, them to lose a lot of stuff and then that's when you know chris chance first started getting money right but it, it was just crazy to me that Josh Moon was able to drift his way into controlling this person's entire body. Yeah, like, geez, I mean, uh, I hate to like say it, but it's... Thing. It's just putting this uh, severely mentally ill person on display. Here's all their information. Here's everything that they like and can be manipulated by. And here's how to contact them. But don't do it, guys. But we're not manipulating them as much as the others are. So oh, it's okay. Yeah. That's, that's, I think, a lot of it. And, and the farms comes from... Because there are, honestly, probably good people on the farms who Amy went through some more things than I did and thought there's no other option and end up following him and then getting into worse and worse and worse behaviors. Um, because they kind of legitimize themselves, chant themselves, they go, oh, well, this person's kind of a careful, 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 ranch. We can do whatever we want. That's okay. Do not correct. Even now, going after the people I have, the recent release of the um, DMs between careful and patrol uh, just looks like two Kiwi farmers, to be honest. And that stuff that I looked at was like, I would never, ever, even going after pedophiles who have done unspeakable things, would not say the thing she said to that troll. I, I tend to agree. I mean, I, okay. 
I, mean, I receive a lot of, you know, a lot of death threats. It's 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 pretty normal. Uh, the funniest one was when I changed the size of a font on 8chan way back in the day. Um, this is, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I received a death threat over that. I changed it by two points. Some, you know, mentally ill person got super mad and I wouldn't change it back. And, you know, oh, one boy. thing led to another and they were threatening to come to the Philippines and kill me. So, you know, oh, uh, but yeah, yeah, right. even so, like, even so, I understand that everybody responds to trauma differently. I understand that everybody handles That's situations true. differently, but still you're not benefiting yourself at all by giving that person more attention and more notoriety by, you know, freaking out at them and basically giving them something to release. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Couples has gotten way more attention off of this than they had before. It seems like, I mean, I, mean, honestly, okay. I hope it kind of leads to them getting enough attention that they're doing everything that, they're saying Keppels is doing. I hope that they get the attention and get hauled off too. But you know, I hope they're successful in taking Kiwi Farms down. Kind of taking uh, the Ethan route position here. <laughs> I, I, I think that will continue on without Keppels at some point. Oh, definitely, because it's uh, not just Keppels. That's a, that's a, a bit of a straw man too. That's to put it up as that's just this one Keppels really easily pers- person to say things about and take down. You know, most of the work's not Keppels anyways. But that's a whole other story. Um, but some of the behaviors in that read just like someone using the Kiwi Farms. Uh, especially the thing I noticed was the use of the troll's mother, or the fail docs on a troll's mother, uh, trying to be like, oh, here's your mom, do you, do you shame if her work out any of this info, or something along those lines, or if she got an email from me. That is just really kind of nasty behavior of let me emotionally manipulate you by showing a picture of your mom and using it to get fear in you. I mean, I don't uh, think it's wrong if you're being harassed by someone to dox them. I, I do think it's no, wrong no, to no. dox their family, though. I, I, yeah, I that's where the line kind of gets crossed. It's like, oh, look, I got this picture of your mom. Like, no, if you dox them, send it. If they're making threats and you have their dox, give it to the police that you're currently yeah, working exactly. with, that the lawyers you're supposedly working with. And also, I mean, that, that would be a lot more effective because the cops will actually, like, go to the house and, you know, do an interview with the mom, and the mom probably doesn't even know what their kid is doing on the computer, you know, if the person is actually underage. But it's yep. a fail dox in this case, so... Exactly, exactly. You don't go and confront them. You patch in the information, you double-check, make sure it's correct, and try out for if it's not. But you don't go confront them and try to blackmail them with it. It's, it's Kiwi Farms behavior. Uh, it, it's it, a lot 100%. of... 100%. And actually, somebody in the chat says the uh, esoteric says good people on both sides. I'd say if the opposite gets bad people on both sides, and people fall into the trap of thinking... Well, I gotta pick a side. There's two sides. You don't. Yeah. You know, kind of what you taught me, Fred, is you can be an independent investigator and be independent on that. You'll make enemies on both sides. But you can do that. It's that, good that to have enemies on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> I just think but, that's yeah. really funny. I just I wonder how how much longer Josh Moon is gonna be hiding in fear of trans people. He had to run and flee the country when they came to his house and made his mom <laughs> them at the door while he's in the bathroom. He's hiding. Oh my God. He's getting shut down. He's hiding on tour from the, the trans kefels. He just fears them completely. He's bending over in submission, showing his belly to Fred, locking his thread to try to appease him, but it's not going to work. <laughs> Fred, can't stop. Can't stop. Uh, can't stop. Uh, oh, man. We actually got a couple of questions in chat. One of them I kind of want to answer, but I'll let, uh, if you, you want to answer King Pedro's first, Fred. He asked if uh, you consider people posting memes of you being pushed down the stairs as actual threats. I don't, obviously. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's not what I was kind talking of about in that case. <laughs> yeah. I do um, understand that not everybody who posts that meme is making an actual death threat. I'm not. I'm not that dumb. Yeah. Kind of like on how, how on two channel, you know, when people post uh, in Japanese the word "chine," which just means "die," right? That's not a death yep. threat. No, is it? You have to have intent, ability to, and, and something else plan. in the law. Yeah, specific plan, like the, the ability to, to and had a specific plan. You know, they talked about yep. like they were going to fly into the Philippines and they were going to get an illegal gun and you know, like all of this. So exactly. It's that, that, that's yeah. a far cry different than I'm going to come get you. Well, I'm going to find a you know, uh, and come to Josh Moon well, Tower. Well, don't get us, don't get us shut down from Susan. Susan, <laughs> 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 <Susan, laughs> will shut us down. They are threats, but they are not right the right. same kind of threat, right? Yeah. There, yeah, there are uh, some kinds of threats that I would report, and then there are some that are just like, okay, you're saying that you would like it if somebody were to do that, but it is not an actual actionable threat. That is the decision yeah. we're making here. Yeah, and I think that's actually where Kyle I drew the line, because actually we disagreed a little bit, because we discussed with Kiffles, Um, because she said, hey, yeah, she told Flamenco to go, you know, don't yeah. demonetize the season. And I said, check, he's a pedophile, I don't really care, there's no actual plan, no actual action, which is a statement. But in that log, she is talking about having the address, who to go to, that is an actual plan. Uh, it steps over that line, and it, I kind of think, yeah, as well, and even, even I mean, in crisis, okay, that behavior is not quite okay. Let's talk a little bit about the log, because one thing that's interesting yeah. in it is where, she, you know, 
She's like, I wish I was less of a moral person. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it made me think, uh, I would go after his family if I wasn't more of a moral person. And it made me think that she was waiting for me to say, because I guess, you know, maybe she just thought because I like founded H Jan and she didn't she clearly knew nothing about H Jan's history or like clearly, yeah. And so I guess she was thinking that like I would reply to that with, Oh well, I am less of a moral person, right? I'll do it for you, Queen Keppels. I mean, that's what I think she was expecting. I, correct me if I'm wrong, Jeez. please. No, that that sounds about right. Uh, uh, I don't think, I think she expected, they expected cloud chasers were going to go over everything she said. I mean, okay, I, mean I, I, I did mean everything I said when I, I apologized to Kiffles, because back in the day, I went along with the Cowboy Ranch claims. I didn't pay, I wasn't too close to paying attention to them, but I thought they were legit. I love with them, I probably tweeted at her. I, then we met, felt bad about that. I mean, basically, I felt Well, yeah, I mean, you know, as you should, but I, 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 I appreciate you doing this and at least talking about, like, how this all got started, because it's, it's insane to me. It really is. So wait, it, hold on. Am I to understand that Keppels is not a part of Catboy Ranch and wasn't involved in the room of the miners correct. and illegal HRT and all that? Sort of. So Cowboy Ranch was Keppel's Twitter account. Also, they did have a Discord called Cowboy Ranch. The, the, the Discord that those screenshots of the grooming occurred in are in Fanboy Hangout, not Catboy Ranch. Keffels was in Fanboy Hangout, knew the owners, but was not a mod, was not involved in the active moderation, was very infrequently active. Do you know offhand so, how many users the server had? I do not. I have a contact who maybe would know, Is but it like even a lot, then, though? Is it over 500 or over 1,000? Oh, I would have to ask. Um, All right, okay. I am not certain. Uh, but I think it was somewhat large. There was kind of a tariff war over some, some small culture war stuff back Because, then. I mean, you know, the thing about Discord is you get invited to servers, and you just click the link, and then you never go back. Happens to me all the time. Yeah. I'm still oh, a no, fucking Dick Masterson server. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, but, uh, I was on the show once to argue yep. with Josh, I think. I think I, that's I why I was in a Finboy voice training server and didn't realize it. <laughs> At one point, I was like, oh, buddy, you got to get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, I have a few people that could use those links. Hook me up later. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it just, it, it, you know, I, I don't like this whole kind of guilt by association thing, especially when it comes to like, okay, this person is on a Discord server. I mean, yeah, you know. that's where it gets really difficult, especially with like, because I spent a good probably two years trying to expose Cynical with being his communities uh, to just direct walls. So now it is a okay, who is just playing dumb and sticking their hand in the sand because oh no, a drama. Who was complicit? And that's a whole other issue in Fry trying to figure out myself. But you kind of run into the same thing with the farms. Who is a bad actor? Who is, I suppose, going for genuine archival information on the farm? Who genuinely is like, I want to take down Sappho, for example. And who is somebody like Tomanko who goes in and says, Oh, yeah, no, it was on a cowboy ranch. He was gamming people. That is how he ends his post, despite being a friend of Monroe and linking Monroe's thread that said, Cowboy Ranch in the Fountain Hangout Discord. So, I mean, we all handed that evidence to Keffels, too, of exactly who started that claim. And she didn't do jack, but she uh, raises a few eyebrows. So, I did want to answer, um, somebody asked, are there other Kiwi farmers in jail? I honestly don't know. Was Snake's thing on the Kiwi Farms posting? Was he a user? Do you guys have any idea, Macho? Because I think that's a pretty high, uh, high uh, profile one that I believe the farmers did have a hand in taking down. Very, <laughs> very nasty person. Uh, snake thing. Very nasty zoophile. Um, horrible, horrible, horrible person. Well, there's uh, also Nick Bates, right? Like, there's also yeah, Nick, Nick Bates. Bates. Yeah, Nick Bates is one. Uh, he was active, wasn't he? Uh, active where? On the farms. Oh, yeah, of course. So, okay. Now we've got Isabella, who unfortunately is not in jail, should be. Uh, he has Yark Howell, who's active on the farms, who I know has been talked about, was in Kiffles, um, in her stream chats. And it becomes this kind of guessing game of which is, is this a victim or is this a perpetrator pretending to be a victim because they had a fallen out with the other perpetrators? Is what you run into constantly with the farms. So you Honestly, I have to treat everyone as just separate possible Kiwi farmers until you can confirm otherwise. Because um, a lot of them will run out and go, oh my god, I'm the victim of the farms. Please help. And they're a bad if not worse. Or, no, actually, they're farmers, so they're the same thing. <laughs> they just have fallen out with the rest of the farms. Is how a lot of those stories go. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not like they don't have trans mods or anything. I mean, they do. No, one yeah, of no, the earliest trans moderators farms. was trans. One of the earliest moderators. Yeah, so, I mean, you're not really <laughs> owning trans people by using Kiwi Farms. Not so hard not to Does anyone farms. remember who I'm talking about? Like, uh, 
Cat uh, something? Uh, cat party. Cat party, right? Cat party, yeah. Oh, that I'm not party. familiar. I think that that's actually one of the things that made Josh start hating trans people, like, a lot. Like, he hated them before, but after he fell out with cat party, I really think that that is, it helped. It reads as personal from from what I've seen of him posting about trans people. It reads pretty... so personal. Something happened with the I trans think he might have had a relationship. Uh, you know, the cat party and him were kind of close. I think they might have had some kind of relationship that was non-public. Ah, uh... that could be it. It's something I, I would I would I mean allegedly, but I that that something yeah, I mean, happened I can't with him say yeah. I can just say that I remember when he was working on Infinity Next and I was over in his apartment, he was constantly messaging fucking cat party. Constantly. And... Oh, King, oh King, shit, King, that far back. <laughs> oh, yeah. King, King Pedro does bring up a good point because he called us a little bit off. Uh, because were we just blasting Josh for being um, a... Well, no, I wasn't sort of blasting list. Josh. Uh, yeah, I did uh, read that I was, comment. I, was, or, um, I wasn't now, blasting was... Josh for just being in a Discord. All I was trying yeah, to say was that Isabella you... Cheney is part of the farms because she was getting all yeah. the information about Chris from Kiwi Farms. She oh. was an active member of the Fox War Tafels. I don't know, and neither side documented anything properly. Um, I mean, they so have I... an account, confirmed account. Kiwi Farms confirmed it, so obviously oh, yeah. they're Kiwi Farms. <laughs> I mean, as far as the Femboer, I, I will never know how active they were on that server, whether or not they were just sitting there as a worker. But Macho from but the Sunday, Isabella that the Kiwi was Farms active, right? That up. Sorry, no, was no, good. I would say that was, that was Caffold's and Dimitri Well, no, Maro wait a minute, though. Up. Listen to my argument. Okay. Yeah. The Catboy Ranch and the, the Femboy one, right? By yep. posting all of it on the Kiwi Farms, those Discord servers got deleted and all the logs disappeared. So if there was something actually, right, that you can yeah, say yeah. how active Neat somebody Neat was. Documented. Exactly the same thing they accused Ralph and Worski of when that, that yep. they had their top warrant. Yep. They did the same thing. So Dimitri if there was anything actually there, from... they fucked it up. Yep, Dimitri shifted gears from Oh My God, Sean Boy Hangout to Oh My God, Keffels, the bigger clout chasier target. Yeah. Oh, she's whining about lollicons. Let me focus on her. Ignore the miners getting burned. Not, not that big deal. More Dasha should love a Shotokan in his gay phase. Please, let's talk no. about that. If you know some more about it, let's talk about it. I want to hash it out because... Look, before we do, I do want to bring one thing up. Is I've, Especially with those communities, and once you get into the overlap of lollicons and pedophiles, when it comes to actually accusation, don't even fall for going into that debate. Just stay out of it is what I do. Uh, and it served me really, really well. I go off of these minor being harmed. But otherwise, I don't get into morality because they will drag you into debates over morality and keep you there forever. I stick to logistics when it comes to those things. Um, when it comes to like actual accusations of pedophile pedophilia, is there something arrestable? Is there something actionable? Is there something that's causing direct harm? Uh, when it comes to that stuff, though, if he's a Jodicon, that's got some hypocrisy, no doubt, we can definitely focus on. Uh, but I just like to say keep them separate because when people send reports on on stuff like that to the police, it is wasting their time, which is very limited. You don't do a lot of people can do that work. So okay. I was like to preface and bring it up. But go ahead, go ahead. Okay, first off, I, I, I would like to ask uh, something of you, Fred. Yeah. Dasha Janney on HAM, was he like somebody who helped moderate the threads and stuff and delete things? Uh, of course, he had a global volunteer account. Okay, that's what I thought. So it shouldn't have been a new concept to him when he opened 9chan and according to him, all the same people who were posting the Lolicon and the Shotokan were the same people who were posting the real CP to try to spite him. And that's the real reason he doesn't defend Lolicon anymore. I just I just don't think that's possible for someone who moderated 8chan. Well, of course not, because uh, of course not, because like he had the fucking, you know, IP access that every other global volunteer had. <laughs> exactly. Uh, what, okay, I just wanted to get more that out of the way before I even started. <laughs> I, I actually have read the post of Josh's, uh, and I do kind of resonate a little bit with it. I'm kind of looking in between, because he used to be, because he used to be, he claims he was in the position I used to take a um, good faith yeah, claim. Hey, it's, it's reality, not fiction, just good faith, take the claim. Um, he just went completely to the opposite end of it's all of its bullshit. I'm uh, somewhere in the middle. Um, so that's that's where they kind of get you into those arguments as well. Uh, but he's, he's, he's spoken about it when he claims it was his time at HM that flipped him to know they're all pedophiles. But wait a minute, he was running 9chan after 8chan, so Yeah, how... you're right, he was. And in that post, he claims it was 8chan. So that can't be right. No, he yeah, said 9chan. That was, uh, uh, do, happened to lead everything and happened to shut down 9chan because of the CP getting posted and the same people that were posting the CP being the Loli posters was his reason, reason for hating Loli and Shotokan and needing to go after Digibro. And getting rid of Dick Masterson. It was just a very strange series of events to anyone watching. Yeah. But as you weird. said, it, it, it seems like it was mostly just related to the money, you know, new project too. Uh -huh. yeah, very yeah, well exactly. could be it. 
not only could it very well be it, I know Josh Moon, it is definitely about the money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those, those crypto uh, freedom of speech bros are only taken so far. Yeah. Yep, yep. And so yep. you said you wanted to get more into the, the Shota thing. Have you never, like, uh, looked into his Blockland post thing uh. that everyone knows about? Okay, uh... If you want to know the, like the max that I have done, I read the Encyclopedia Dramatica about it and laughed at some of the screenshots. But I never have like tried to verify any of it. So, I actually even went to the website and then had a few things at one point. But the the, the biggest, the, the funniest one to me is um I don't know I might have it offhand. That might be too cumbersome to go and get it. But it's pretty proliferated around. I know I've spread it around enough myself. But he talks about, you know, he's just kind of returning in this chat, and it's a screenshot of him. He's talking, I just got back from uh, watching Catboy Shoda and jerking off, and then, like, later somebody's making fun of it. It's a screenshot. He's like, well, I was just going through a gay phase at the time, because that's totally normal. Like, what the hell a is a gay phase? Oh, yeah, what the hell is a okay. gay phase? That's not I a noticed thing. he doesn't have any women uh, around. He's not getting no pussy. I mean, is that like... <laughs> Is that like a jail thing? Is that is that is that? Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's anything in in, in the gay phase manual that dictates. Yeah, you, you gotta go watch and show up. You gotta go find Spoken about Pico. That that's nowhere in there. Yeah, exactly right. Like 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 like. <laughs> thank you. I mean, yeah. Uh, Jesus. And so Blockland actually, came out with a real pivotal point for him. Yeah. Like, another thing is is that's where he got his start with Doxin and feeling like a big man. Doxin people was Doxin people from Blockland and trying to hold it over their head and basically doing the same thing he does on kiwi farms now like he likes to uh like when people bring up the blockland post oh so that happened 15 years ago but he hasn't changed what is blockland is this like a forum for gamers it was more for a video game sort of like a pre-minecraft it looked like and he was really heavy into the modern community from and a lot of forum drama in particular with one user named stalking who he like just like super harassed it was some uh, I, I was 18 or 19 and she was like 16 or 17 he was harassing her for news and just doing crazy shit and like talking about killing himself oh and, my god like he talks about Jeez. his mom on there and how evil she is because she won't give him money and <laughs> other shit like he all oh, he bitches about mommy a lot in there I'd, I'd like I'd, I'd like to gather some of the more choice bits in cinema to you if you haven't seen them before Fred I mean you know I've only read the Encyclopedia Dramatica article about Josh you know and I've seen some of them in there and I, I mean, I guess I was just a little bit too skeptical about the Blackland post. I shouldn't have been. I should have looked more into this. So, yeah, please go ahead. I mean, you know, I, I think it's an interesting to try to understand, you know, Josh as a person. It has to all go back to Blackland, I think. It really does. I, I don't know if you were familiar with, uh, once I was involved in uh, lolcow.org or uh, Onion Farms even, but both of them have a whole thread of Josh. And it's, just, it's, it's actually a pretty good read. I think it might have even got posted on that media career thread that, that one person runs. Uh, the Kango Farms. <laughs> a Kango Farm, man, Onion Farm, something else. Now he has a freaking pedophile as an admin. Kingo is a mess. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, man. Why does that you not surprise me? Art, this evil piece of shit. What the fuck, Jeez. Hey, yo, yo, that's where it gets real nasty. And actually, speaking of pedophiles, I do kind of want to talk a little bit about their topics. Uh, the farms in general, if you take... If you take people in good faith, even though most of the side is not, if you take, I guess, the minority that's in good faith, genuinely want to do something good, they want to go after some sick people, they feel like that's the only resource left. When it comes to a public versus stealth operation to go after these people, at least in my limited experience, stealth is a million times easier. I initially went public exposed, I honestly figured, and it's grown a farms tactic, I suppose, of put the info out there, help somebody bigger carries it up and up and up, and it gets widespread. And something gets done. It's kind of a wild card how something gets done because you know you don't have the resources as a little guy to do it. In another operation, and this is why I'm kind of, I stay out of Morelli because I worked with a lolly trying to do this. He provided me a ton of information, his lolly gone, on a pedophile in Texas who was on probation. They'd already been arrested for CP. They were getting high on math in their hotel room. They never knew my name. They never knew I existed and still think it was DHS, but they're sitting in a Texas prison now. Good. They had no idea I existed, and it was a million times easier than me going after Mr. Silico. A million times easier. The moment you go public, the opposition starts doing ops, you start doing back and forth, they'll make fake logs on Yale. They did on me, by the way. <laughs> Gives them possible liability uh, because always yeah. a harassment campaign against it, Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. um, by the way, I made Tova a mod in our chat. She's always on my Twitter. And it's funny, the Kiwi Farmers, they have oh, barely hey, posted her screenshots just because she replies to me on Twitter. That's how mad oh, they are. <laughs> Oh, but they don't go oh, after people. They're not trying to harass people. Oh, no, they don't they're go after people. They're like, just she's just, That's why we need to dox people. She's just a random person that replies to me a lot. And, and, and it's, it's insane to me that they... 
that they had like targeted her specifically. Uh, it, it's crazy. Oh, so one of the one of the one of the uh, site admins on the Onion Farms noticed me responding to you, uh, and that I've never been brought up on the site before either. So I, I suspect they may know a little bit more, or maybe be within communities, but that's just a hunch. So that's just a theory. Yeah, yeah, one of one of the admins on the Onion Farms crossed oh. on drugs for it. I think I only learned about the Onion Farms this year uh, when I was looking into something else, and I found it. And I looked at my thread on there, and I had to laugh when I realized that like the person that made it is like uh, posted in there something like. Uh, this post reserved for when he dies. And so I brought that uh -oh. up to Tangle and asked him, like, how can you claim to be neutral? You know what I mean? Like, and, and have this. And he apologized to me at first and deleted my whole thread, but then his users got so fucking mad. <laughs> that... He just brought it right back. Yup, 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 yup. Yep. You know, it where... wasn't like I wanted the thread deleted. I don't care. It was just, I, I found him a huge hypocrite at Tangle, personally. He's a strange, strange mm -hmm. man. <laughs> oh, hey, um, um, it wasn't the Zilch, was it, Macho? The Zilch? I, I'm not sure. I only know a uh, not, and I, I thought Impressive might have got modded on there, but I don't know. Oh, okay. nah, I shouldn't speculate. I shouldn't jump on speculations or something. So. But, but not um, is a pedophile and is an evil motherfucker. Oh, who boy. And it's like another mentally ill person that ah, you know, I'm a little sympathetic towards called OT and like, like catfished him and got his news and were spread around. It was just really sad. And sad. Yikes. Yeah, but that's that's why I don't mind the people far downstream from the farms as much because a lot of them are very much yeah. Both those people are the people we're watching. We're we're not we're not just watching. Ah, oh, laugh at Chris. We're going oh, laugh at Chris and laugh at Blue Spike and don't be like either. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be Blue Spike. You, you don't, don't want to be Josh Moon either. It's <laughs> so no, you, Josh don't be no, Josh you definitely Moon. don't want to be Josh Moon. Um. One thing I wanted to ask is okay. Hating Josh Moon, weirdly enough, you know, I realized this today, has a very long history on image boards. It, it really does. <laughs> it goes all the way back to early 18, like even before 2014. Cal was one of the first boards. Um, yep. I remember Cal. There are other communities, and that's, that's, well, the, yeah, that's, I think it was when Infinity Next, uh, the IT leaks happened, is what I said. Yeah, no, uh, screw that. They just didn't care. Yeah. Like, I don't know a bunch of IT leaks, whatever. You should have worn around a VPN. Like, that is not how you respond to that. Even if you're correct, that's not how you respond. Oh, he lost so many people uh, with that. Uh -huh. Like admins and shit, too, with the leak. Oh, man, that was, that, that was something else. He was a crime motherfucker then. And it was his fault. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Just negligence and incompetence all the way around. Uh -huh. the story. That actually does, um, got two different points I was going to go, but one of them is um, the amount of control over these sites that Josh or Kendall have is way more than, say, you have on HM Fred. Way, way more to oh, manipulate sure. who gets a thread, who does not. Now consider the amount of damage, depending on who you talk to, January 6th was essentially a domino from Jim getting HM. Bunch of boom, I scuffed up the capital. Yeah, I mean, like one of those domino memes. I understand. Yup, it literally is one of those domino memes. Now, how severe and how serious that was, Depends on who you have, but it's still a bad thing. Of course. Consider how bad that could be if Jim is pulling the strings on Kiwi Farms, now it being on his servers. Well, I, how I, I, dangerous can that get is something that's been on my mind. And it's like, holy crap, where would Jim start? I am not going to be controlling the narrative. I'm sure Jim Watkins would like a shot at him now. Oh, that right. Sure. Even Absolutely. if most of the base when you're, an image board, when you're an image board admin, you can't really, like, you can't really force a meme, right? It makes yeah. the users really mad. It makes oh, them fairy. really, really mad if you try to force any meme or like even like any activist. You know what I mean? Like you can't yep. just flood the board using your admin powers. Everyone would leave. And so, but a traditional forum is so different. Josh Moon can just, you know, decide and he can have his click around him. You know, uh, whoever replaced Cat Party and Glaive. Those are the moderators I do. But, you know, those names are now so old. I, I you know, whoever is the current, you know, uh, uh, circle of Jannies around him, uh, you know. Think you're Rod's almost... the only admin left, actually. I think he's the only red name. Huh. Wow. Yeah, the rest are just uh, local mods now. Uh, is it because he can't trust anyone? I, it's exactly that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess he's learned too socially and to actually read people and uh, decide on somebody who's trustworthy and control things, so. Oh, don't worry, Tolva. She's in the chat there saying that she got distracted. You don't you don't have actually any, like, responsibilities as a mod. I just gave you the mod to make the Kiwi Farmers mad. That's it. So, you know, you lose your mouth. Or if you don't even want to watch the whole screen, it's cool. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's like... Oh, I was going to say something off of that. I'm going to escape my mind crap. <laughs> no, probably come back to me. Well, it was about, you know, the fact that Josh Moon 
uh, is. Oh, oh, tap. That's what it was. Um, it almost makes me wonder is though the the reason why there is no gym thread on the Kiwi Farms because he held on to that as a rainy day last ditch effort, and it seems currently paid off. It's happening again. Josh is sweeping it up for him. Ladies and gentlemen, his most recent stream. Ah. The one that I archived, like yesterday. I I usually don't have the heart to listen to that man talk. Well, it's really funny because he's, he 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 gets so mad. He is clapping oh. mad. He is screaming into the microphone. <laughs> like he okay. At one point, he says, "America, you need to wake up because the Chinese communists uh, they just want to fuck us all in the ass." Literally, that's what he says. And um, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to save into this. And he gets and so the... angry about Josh Moon in specific because okay, it's a little complicated the situation, but essentially, uh, Moon is right now using the same network as Acoon, right? Like Jim Watkins' network, but Jim Watkins only has control over it through a poison pill in the contract. So in the contract that you agree to when you sign up for this network called Vanwa Tech, you agree that you are agreeing that is it wet yet Inc which is Jim's company, can terminate you as well as Nick Lim, i.e. Vanwatek. So, yes, it's a little bit like a uh, galaxy brain, how that got set up, you know, because Jim doesn't want to have, like, on-paper ownership but still wants to exert actual control. Uh, however, Nick Lim has got in his mind that he really wants to help the Kiwi Farm stay online, right? And so it's leading to a bit of a battle between, you know, Lemmy and Jimmy, as I call them. You know, <laughs> I have been curious about that. I didn't understand how that power dynamic worked and how Jim had control on, on the other world, despite going yeah. thank you for clearing it up. So uh, what I think is going on right now is, like, uh, that poison pill, that's what I call it, because that's really, you know, that's a corporate yeah. takeover term, but that kind of describes what it is. I think that Jim just doesn't want to exercise that power because, well, first of all, he's been losing confidence in Nick Lim in general because Aikun was going down a lot, you know, even before this. Like, Nick Lim's ISP is not, like, a great <laughs> ISP. So, I, you know, he does the best that he can. I mean, he's getting DDoS all the fucking time because everyone hates him, as they should. Uh, but, you know, Lim, Lim, uh, Basically, he wants to keep the Kiwi Farms online because he thinks that it will help save his business, that he'll get, you know, a whole bunch of other far-right customers. And so he's not oh, doing man. what Jim says. Oh, always good for this. That's oh, man. no. That is... Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I totally agree with you guys. But, you know, in certain circles, I hate to say it, but in certain circles, having, being able to say, oh, I kept the Kiwi Farms online, you know, it, it, it does make yeah. the penis grow. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's why... We can't be only bashed and trying those... Well, yeah. we kept the last passion to find those estrogen enjoyers that love. They're the only ones find back to keep our kids safe. There you go. Uh, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So essentially, oh. essentially, essentially, what what's going on there is that Liam, you know, like, is doing whatever he can to keep the Kiwi Farms online right now, and it's causing huge problems for Aikun. I mean, I was trying to check something for Karma, you know, like, uh, apparently the capture changed over. And it's really different now, but I can't even see it because Aikun won't load because it is under constant DDoS because uh, it's sharing a network with Kiwi Farms. And, you know, Jim was screaming into the microphone on the stream about how <laughs> he needs to, like, hook himself into a Tier 1 network, <laughs> which is just like the Internet backbone. But those contracts cost oh, millions God. of dollars, and I don't think he can afford it. Oh. Uh, can, he, can he just barely afford it and wipe out his own fortune, please? Please, please, please. <laughs> you know, so afford it for one month only. And Pay proper respects to Daddy Jim Watkins, or he's going to take him to his piggy farm and feed him to the. <laughs> well, he no longer owns the pig farm. No, he doesn't. He yeah, he had to sell it. Like that's how broke I've made him. I've really. Uh... <laughs> oh man, he doesn't even have the piggies to defend him. Nope. Dude. No, no, no. Josh Moon, you know, Josh Moon could win. Maybe that's why Josh is okay going back. He doesn't have to feed the pigs anymore. <laughs> yeah, that was just too scary for us. But anyway, yeah. during that live stream, uh, <laughs> Watkins brings up something else. Like he says, that guy Josh Moon tried to come to me for a job, and everything started going downhill after that. I laughed at that. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> that sounds hilarious. For anybody who wants to give Josh Moon a job. You ever heard of uh, Cricket, the uh, former mod that tried to get Josh Moon on, on her company? And it ended up costing her all her uh, friends and family and her job, and all Josh could do was just talk shit and treat her like a piece of shit because she didn't get me a job, and... I've never heard of this. Please Jeez. go on. Oh, man, I need to send you those screenshots, too. I have them uh, laying around somewhere. I have to get them. I'll probably do it after this. That sounds very interesting. That sounds... I actually uh, showed him the Ralph one time, and um, he didn't show him because him and Josh were still buddy-buddy, I didn't realize. But later on, a few few months ago, he actually dredged them back up, and I saw it, and he smiled. <laughs> At least. Ralph, Ralph's not happy with me. He doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that, that's how honestly, actually, that's a good example of how fickle the associations between people on the farms can be. I included Chillville ribbing jokes on Ralph in a deep dive on the people I'm after. Um, it's Tata Flamenco, and he was involved. Stick on his way. Oh, minor jokes. She went off with the rails. Tons of obscenities. Turned off the video. Uh, didn't even get into the things that Flamenco was covered for her because he, did, he was too angry. Uh, and that's how quickly people in that sphere will just swing on each other. It's like yeah. 100. There is no criticism back and forth, which, which I am really glad I did it keep going in that direction, but I thought I was the only direction I had. Uh, you and um, I have both made me go, wait, there are people out there doing that kind of investigative work. Not you, as well, you against um, Jim, Paragraph, others, a uh, lot of the Sufa, those types. That made me go, wait, I don't have to rely on the farms and a bunch of lies, Jr.? No, you don't. That, that you don't. Stuff and that's going to make everything worse. That, that, they, they really do. I got kind of the quick shot off it, uh, mm -hmm. quick shot of it, because I saw how much of a, a hug box Kiwi Farms was pretty much immediately as soon as I started posting. <laughs> the report thread. <laughs> yep, God damn, this. they have their closed off circles, and you cannot disagree. Yep. It's, it's it's is it one of those places that's kind of uh, joined together by ideology, oh, where if you change your opinion, suddenly you're out. Yeah, if you do it at the wrong time when it's not the cool thing to do, yeah, you're probably. It's not going to end well if you want to keep posting. You so what happened? Just stay what happened with stuff. this moderator? What was the job even for? Oh man, it was some sort of software programming job. I can't... it was it was what? maybe web development actually in Poland, actually, if I remember right. Um, and she was gonna, you know, try to help Josh get a job there because he was asking for one. And when she ended up bringing Josh Moon to her company. Um, just her mentioning that she was associated with him and her fired and a bunch of her friends ended up disowning her oh my and stuff God. like that. And so she, you know, she ended up losing all this trying to Josh and Josh just treats her like a piece of shit and just, <laughs> it's pretty bad. I think it, I think the name was Cricket. I'd, I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it was Cricket. That's crazy. But you know, okay. When I, when Moon first started working on 8chan software, Infinity Next, uh, Jim Watkins was doing his whole, you know, hobo grift, as I used to call it, where, like, he pretends to be poor, but he's not. Like, he could definitely afford to hire a developer. It's just that... Oh, Josh is definitely doing that, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, uh, okay. So he, essentially, because there is no way to replace the software and things are falling apart, Josh Moon, you know, lands the job. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but he actually left a position in Australia to do that. Like, an actual software development position that he just had uh, very early on in the farms' history. Like, you know, it wasn't that controversial, and so... He could still get a visa and go, you know, work in Australia. That that that's how, like, you know, he flew actually from Australia to the Philippines. Oh man! <laughs> oh, I did get an answer. Circling way way back. Uh, sounds like it was probably with a couple hundred people in the family server. Yeah, I mean that's a lot if you ask me. Yeah, that's that's enough for it. That's not like a nine-person German team group to my co. <laughs> then that's enough that you can click join and forget about it. Especially if you have a Twitter account that has the same name and somebody's like, hey, I made this as a fan server for your Twitter account. Well, it wasn't either for them, completely separate. I see. All right. Well, she was just friends with some of the owners, that kind of stuff, um, but that's on Twitter. But that's a, as far as there may have more, but the way it was covered and the way it was done, in short, we'll never know. If there was more there, we'll probably never know. Because yeah. of the expose yeah. route. Exactly. The expose route is terrible. If you run into the, the, ever a group of sickos like that, don't do an expose. Put it every well. Uh, I, I can't say don't because at the same time, there's to some degree a hey, warn your community. You yeah, I mean, okay, leave. I do if a lot of get exposés, arrested, but things that I yeah. expose are not, you know, are not at that level where people are going to jail. They're, you know, they're yeah. just fucking internet drama. Yeah, it, it, it's a really tough because you got to battle, balance that. Do you want to get them in jail, or do you want to protect the people they may be interacting with right now? Uh, by the way, we've been going an hour and a half almost. I think, I think we should probably wrap up in ten to twenty minutes. So, I, I appreciate you both for coming on. Uh, you see, I learn a lot from these, even if I don't know if anything is going to happen. Major tea was spilled during this. I, you know, I think, um, I think to spill a little bit more, I want to talk about Josh Moon and his, because uh, we went a little bit into his Blockland posts and. Okay, when he was in the Philippines, I, I may have mentioned this on the stream with uh, Desu and, and Mark, but I'm going to say it again. I, he, like, Jim Watkins expects you, essentially, to have sex with a prostitute, right? In front. Like, not, oh, yeah. Not, not, like, not like in front of Watkins, but he expects you to do it. And, you know, 
for him to see like the prostitute and to see you and to see like the both of you go in the room like he doesn't actually like you know be in the room but yeah but but but, but everything but that and you know moon wouldn't do it and this is the only way that Jim Watkins trusts people. And I tried to tell Moon that, like, oh, Josh, you don't have to actually do anything. You can just talk to her for an hour. And still, you know, he wouldn't do it. <laughs> just do the go in, ask for a hog, and cuddle for an hour, nothing else. <laughs> hey, 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 you don't have, have to be that close to a woman for a while. God, is that? But, you know, it's making you really but think. But it's rare. Never, he never actually w for... He never did it, no. He And he gave, like, these galaxy brain reasons for why he couldn't. Like, that he wasn't looking for sex, you know, he wanted, like, intimacy. And and, and it was just like, it, it, oh, my God. It was just like, uh, okay, Josh, but you realize that, like, this boomer will never trust you and will never give you the job that you actually need. So so there's no so way to confirm that guessing. John isn't a virgin, because I always just assume he did sleep with the prostitutes, and that's how he lost his virginity. So uh, he might be a virgin. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. He, I know that he never, at least in the time I knew him, he never was with a prostitute, ever. Damn. Well, dang. Rough Josh Bros. The virgin in Cell Kiwi Farm Kingdom. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 on old dog within the farms, the whole save him from errors, the far right, far, 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 far uh, Christian grift, where we're usually not even legitimate about their beliefs. Oh, like no hate on anybody who lives, we're just, but these people usually are BSing through their teeth. Oh, yeah, totally. At least the, the, the trad half of the audience, you know. Oh, have, God. Uh, shit on him. <laughs> For oh, sure. the trails. Uh, Jim John. Watkins also is doing, like, a Christian drift right now. He ends oh, all Lord. of his dreams with a prayer. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not even kidding. <laughs> I thought it was bad enough when Bank Alaska was doing that. Yeah, and he also, like, oh, sings hymns on stream. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all a grift. Like, it's all a grift. I wouldn't be making fun of him if I thought that these beliefs were legit, but they're not. Swing low, swing <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, are we going to make a period going to get both of them as mad as Flamenco gets from his? Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, oh. Wait, uh, I'm going to promote my, my, Powerball uh, my Powerball Pamela channel where I have a few parodies of, of uh, Ralph and Josh. So there yeah, you go, do, do, a Jim and, do a Jim and Josh uh, parody songs. There you go. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> I need to get some more Josh movies. I just need a little help with the lyrics. <laughs> I could help you. Uh, I could help you for sure. Uh, I've got oh, some let's do it. Let's do it, friend. <laughs> All right. Uh, I actually think that's as good a place to end it as any, honestly, with that nice song that we just heard. Uh, 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 you heard it here first, folks. That is a <laughs> Bad at the Internet original uh, from... <laughs> <laughs> from uh, Grubba Macho and at Burn Burn 8. Now, one of those burns is with an E. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be muting myself and I will play us out with. Oh, the, I did I did have a couple of closing things. Oh, to please, say. please. I'm not sure if Macho did. Um, I did want to say to uh, honestly two different groups. One, if uh, you're being sympathetic to the forums, there are honestly good reasons to be. Uh, they're understandable reasons, I should say. Understandable, not good reasons. Um, but there are better resources out there, much better resources. And once you start really digging into the farms, that they mess up more than they help, and they become a resource for predators, for sickos out there. They themselves will become a resource. Uh, so they, at this point, do more harm than good. And as the farms breaks up and goes to other communities, if you ever find yourself the target of one of these communities, the best advice I ever figured out through going through it myself, be boring. If you ever find yourself at the end of a farms like entity, be boring, to interact. That is the best way to get through that stuff if it ever happens to you. Absolutely. I have one more thing to add myself. If I Go can. for it. Mato! I'm coming for you, Josh Moon. I'm going to keep you on the defensive every day. I'll be behind every bush. Every new account on Kiwi Farms is me. I, I'm coming for you, Josh Moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, man, I'm ready for the Moon versus Macho Ram Wrestling. We're going to call up Kiwi Star and have it happen, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, thank you both for appearing. Uh, I am muting us both now. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Right.